Out on the mat right now, you're looking at 126 pounds. Semifinal, David Bavery, the uh, state champ two years ago for the Perry Panthers. Good shot. And Bavery will be taking on Alec Cotton of Lake. And Bavery looking for a takedown here on the edge of the mat. And we're going to get a restart. And we're going to have to ask Mr. Shy to move here. You go ask Mr. Shy to move. I'll operate this. Him. Just. And Bavery. Working that front headlock. Looking to go behind. Bavery looking chin whip. He's getting counts. This would be huge for the Perry Panthers. Can he complete this chin whip? Fall. He's got him in a bad way. He's got his hips on top now. And Cotton is going to be able to bail out of that. Bavery's going to take a 5-0 lead on Alec Cotton of Lake. He looks over to Drew Lashaway and Pat McLemore, who wrestled in the Mid-American Conference Finals in 2008 in Ken, Ohio, who are coaching him right now. Irony, folks. That's irony. And Bavery's going to cut him. And we're off the mat. We're going to get a new start with 45 seconds left in the first period. Cotton got to pick up some points now. He's in the hole. Sir, can you move, please? Thank you. Can you move again, sir? You guys got to be out of the way. Thanks. So, now there it is, Cotton. It's 5-3 all of a sudden. Bavery's going to pick up the reversal. He's got a 9-3 lead now. Is that correct? 9-3 on the board. And it looks like Cotton might have hurt his hip. After a takedown for Cotton. <clears throat> no cough button here. Sorry about that, folks. Bavery, state champ, two years ago. Maslin Perry, inside of 10 seconds, up 9-3 at the end of the first period. And Bavery is carousing right now. Looking strong. It's going to be Bavery's choice. He's going to go down to start the second period. So Bavery up to his feet right away. And steps over. He could have Cotton in trouble. And they're just going to go two reversal. And then they're going to go no near falls. It doesn't, and he's going to go two near fall. Oh, man. David Bavery is putting it on Cotton right now. 13-3, 140 left in the second period. And all as you can think right now, they're down by nine and a half points. Perry to Clovis. Remember, the big... Uh, the big uh, implications here are for who's going to win this tournament. Seven semifinalists each for the Perry Panthers and your Clovis Cougars out of California. And Bavery turning the heat up 13-4 to right now. He's got a Russian two-on-one. Drops down on a shot. We're going to run out of real estate. Off the reset, 1-11. 13-4 lead David Bavery. State champ two years ago. Perry Panthers looking to uh, extend his lead and pick up bonus points for those Perry Panthers. And I don't see a Clovis Cougar out on the mat right now. So right now, currently, Clovis got 199 to Perry's 189.5. And uh, claim I, well, the 151.5, they're climbing right in there, man. Holy smokes. So they could make it interesting. One of these teams melts down. They could go take the, both teams melt down. Claim I could win it. And Bavery, they're locked in a weird, and that's two takedown. Bavery can't seem to free his right arm as Cotton wants to keep it. And they're going to call potentially 15-4 David Bavery. 38 seconds left in the second period. He's going to say, hey, I want to wrestle on our feet. Let's go neutral. It's 15-5 now. Bavery's got to be thinking tech. And Cotton needs to steal another takedown here. Coach Mattingly's got to know that Cotton's got to steal a takedown. And he's telling him because he stole one in the first period. And looking at it, 
Bavery is just cruising right now. And no commitment for Bavery yet. The senior state champion from Maslin Perry, no commitment yet to a college. So that would be uh, that'd be huge to pick that guy up. They got some uh, they got some guys that have been able to wrestle out of Maslin Perry. I don't know. You might know names such as Steve Luke, uh, Dustin Schlater. You know, just guys like that. They, they've been uh, very successful at the next level. In college, and that's just two guys I'm throwing out there. I mean, Nick Hefflin, 197-pound, two-time All-American for the uh, Buckeyes. I take him on my squad. He just might win the whole darn thing this year at 197. Find some offense. And uh, David Bavery right now is on top as Cotton shows down. Cotton of Lake, Uniontown Lake, about 20, 25 minutes from here. Head coach, uh, Coach Mattingly. In the corner, Scott Mattingly, a uh, Uniontown Lake blue streak, I want to say they are, as Bavery is looking to crank power half over here on his hip. Cotton fighting it. And I don't know if they're going to cut him loose and let him go with more takedowns here or what's happening. But 119 left, 15-5. David Bavery picking up much-needed bonus points. He's going to, it looks like, barring a reversal to his back. David Bavery, Alec Cotton. Alec Cotton from the same school as current 149-pounder for the Central Michigan Chippewas. Scott Mattingly. Coach Mattingly, the head coach there. Scott's dad. Good folks over there in Uniontown. Lake High School. Bavery looking to work that two-on-one. And I, I, maybe they thought he was going to get a bunch of turns and they were happy with a major decision. I don't know what's happening. But I don't know what's going through Pat McLemore and, and uh, Drew Lashaway's head right now. Because Cotton, you know, he's a scrappy kid. He's not just going to roll over. He is going to, like, however, like avoid the tack pin with 15 seconds left here. And, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, David Bavery is going to put Perry right in there. They're actually going to take the lead after this. They're going to take the lead after this. But the match of all matches is coming up next at 132 pounds. For the tournament title, you're going to have Jason Spencer of Perry taking on Isaiah Hockett, Clovis. This is for the tournament team title. No pressure on these guys right now. Whoever wins this, I'm calling it, wins the team title here. Is Clovis's trip from the Central Valley going to be worth it? I don't know. Isaiah Hackett, it might be on you. 